What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I am going to share with you five of my favorite cozy fall drinks that you guys can drink. And I even paired them with five of my favorite fall reads. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you don't know anything about me, I love fall, literally already decorated my house in fall back in August. As soon as that pumpkin cream cold brew came out in Starbucks, I was there getting it. I mean, orange even looks so good on me, so like, how can I not just be fall person? Okay, I had this crazy idea to share with you guys my favorite fall drinks and pair them with my favorite fall reads. So, my first favorite fall drink is the pumpkin cream cold brew. I love this from Starbucks, but you can easily make it at home. Okay, I don't think I mentioned yet, but all of the recipes will be down below in the description box with all of the actual measurement. Just taking some pumpkin filling and I am using half and half. You could use like milk and heavy cream if you don't have half and half and the pumpkin pie spice. And then I'm using my little like milk frother. You could use a blender or an actual frother. This is just what I have on hand. And the cold brew I've made in the actual refrigerator. You can get boxes in the grocery store, like from Dunkin' Donuts or even Great Value. You could also just buy cold brew in the store too. Now just pour your topping on top and sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. Okay, does that not look just absolutely delicious? It's so good. I make it for myself and my husband. And the book that I'm pairing with this is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. I know you're probably like, what Jackie? Like a fantasy book, what is going on? But I. I am telling you, this is like the only fantasy book that I have read and absolutely loved. It gives me just the best cozy fall vibes and it's not like the magic that is normally in fantasy books. This is like carnival magic, you know what I mean? Like like clown magic or like magician magic. This book follows two sisters and they actually visit this like special almost magical town that's like putting on a show all the time and let me tell you guys like this book is absolutely awesome and I never would have thought that I would have liked this book but I thought that all the like illusions and really like fun carnival magical type of elements to it were totally out of this world and it's such a good read and I think that you guys should definitely check it out this fall if you haven't yet. One of my favorite drinks is hot apple cider like I love spice cider so much and I prefer it hot over than cold. It's so easy. Most of the time you can just buy apple cider at the store. You can get spice version. You can just get regular version, but it is such a warm and comforting drink. Okay, I just got this great value spiced apple cider. I know most of the time they have more apple cider, like when the actual fall season comes about. And then I'm just slicing some oranges, but you could also use sliced apples as well. It's just one of my favorite drinks of all time. It's so cozy. Okay, with this drink, I'm going to pair this with Cruel Beautiful World by Caroline Levitt. Now, I just feel like the hot apple cider and this book go so well together because this is kind of like a light historical fiction. It also has like a taboo romance in it. It has a bunch of like really fun relationships and it's slightly thriller. So you're gonna have that like really fun vibe when you're reading it. I absolutely love this book. I gave it five stars and it's one of my favorites of all time because the relationships in it just were so incredibly cute and it gives you like warm fuzzy feelings. But then also there's like an age gap romance and you're like, ah, what is happening? So I feel like that's perfect with like the sweet and spicy vibes of the apple cider. Okay, next up we have a personal favorite of mine. This is the gingerbread latte. Now, most of the time this comes out more for like Christmas, but this is perfect also for fall. And it's so easy to make at home, which is good because Starbucks, um, you took that away from us. And I have not recovered yet, okay? Okay, now we're going to use half and half, or again, you could use a mixture of milk and heavy cream. I'm using this espresso that's instant coffee. I'm going to get an espresso though for Christmas, so cannot wait. If you have one, definitely use that. Then I'm heating up my half and half, putting it in my milk frother. And to make the gingerbread flavor, we're going to add blackstrap molasses and some sugar. You can add more sugar if you need more sweetener and ginger and cinnamon and give that a good stir. You want it all to dissolve. Then I'm just using my frothed milk. I'll link my frother down below for you guys. If you're interested, just give it a good stir. Pop it with some more spices and you're good to go. I have the perfect book to go with this. It's both creamy and bitter. And the book that goes along with that is The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. 
this book is a book about like Stockholm syndrome. So this one girl gets kidnapped and she ends up falling in love with her captor, which is like absolutely crazy. I mean, I can't even, I can't imagine like what it's like to fall in love with like the guy that kidnaps you. But this has like really wintry cozy vibes because they go out into this cabin and she has to live in this cabin with him. So drinking a gingerbread latte and reading this book is like the perfect scenario, okay? All right, next up we have mulled wine which wine is one of my favorite beverages of all time and mulled is even better because you have the spice notes of fall and you're able to turn a dry wine into this beautiful delicious concoction okay now we're gonna work on the mulled wine now this is my absolute favorite red wine i'm obsessed so go ahead and pour that into your pot add some spiced apple cider and then we're going to add some other spices and stuff you can sweeten this up with maple syrup and I add some oranges, some fresh apple, some star anise. I needed like cinnamon and other stuff, but I didn't actually have it like cloves and stuff. So just add some pure vanilla extract. We're going to heat all of that up and it's gonna taste so good. All right, I'm pairing this with The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn because this is the perfect book to read in the fall if number one, you don't know if you like horror books, number two, if you don't wanna waste a lot of time on that because this book is so short. It is literally the tiniest book. I think it's like 60 or 90 pages, something super, super small. And it is very good. It has ghostly vibes. It has an open ending and I absolutely love it. Plus it pairs really well with the wine because you know, like blood, horror. Yeah, you get it. Okay, last but not least, we have the spiced chai latte. And these are so delicious, especially if you make them with my favorite chai tea bag, which is the Bigelow vanilla chai. Okay, this is my favorite chai of all time. Go ahead and heat up some water and put two vanilla chai tea bags from Bigelow. I'm telling you guys, you need to get this tea. It is so good. Then I'm going to add some ripple milk. So this one's actually dairy free. You can just add regular dairy milk, but I was using a dairy free milk for this one. And then once it heats up, go ahead and pour it in your cup. If you want some actual froth, you can go ahead and froth some milk or non-dairy milk, add some honey for sweetness, and then you can top it with cinnamon. Okay, I am pairing this with Him by Serena Bowen because we all love a good romance in the fall and this one's perfect because it's a hockey romance. So you're reading about like the snow and the cold and hockey and then this male male romance that gets hot and feisty. It is absolutely great. I highly recommend it. It's been one of my favorite male male romances ever and the tension that they have is so incredibly good. So if you have not read this, I think it's absolutely perfect for you to pick up in the fall. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed these five fall drinks and the books that I recommended with them. If you make any of these drinks, definitely let me know down in the comment below and let me know how you enjoyed these books, especially if you've already read them. I'd love to know if you agree with my fall pairings and I feel like this would be so fun to do with like alcohol or like wine pairings. Like, let me taste this wine and let me put it with a book. Like, wouldn't that be awesome? I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you in another video. Bye everyone.